You can't just study happiness, ignore suffering. That's not possible. That's why it's dead end. Study happiness by itself is dead end. After 20 years, we're just as miserable and selfish as before. So there's no change. So the, the new science is how to, how to benefit from this opposite. When you're happy, and Chinese saying that, Lu Ji Sung Bei, that means when you're extremely happy, something bad will happen. And Charlie Brown said the same thing, Charlie Brown, right? I, act, I don't want to be too happy because something bad happened to me. So when you're very happy or successful, think about don't be proud because next time you, you, you might fall, you, you, you might fail. When you're at the bottom, don't disappear because you're no way to go but going up. So but think about polarity, it helps you to maintain a power balance. You only look at the positive, go astray. Too arrogant, too optimistic, too confident. We are all, well, a lot of research has shown that if you're too proud, too confident, that leads to misery. If you all focus on the negative, then you got depressed, anxious. It's not good for you. The happy medium. Aristotle, Confucius, they all talk about happy medium. Just think about the opposite. When happy, some the opposite. When I'm sad, I'm the opposite. So you need to, to, to hold two opposite in two hands. Then you will be able to find the right way, how to navigate between two opposites. And then you'll be able to rise above the tension, transcend, transcend your limitation, transcend the opposite, transcend the negative, transcend the conflict. You're able to transcend. Then you find a balance and peace. So inner peace and balance is due to as a result of considering the polarity, navigate a balance and rise above it. Okay. So that's why I say suffering is the foundation of version because you do not include the suffering element. You only work with half of the whole. You, you can, there's always something lacking. You cannot know the truth. Uh, when you see the, we need darkness to see the light. We need sadness to see happy. All the good things in life are on the other side of suffering. If you really want to, you are not prepared to suffer. Forget about being happy. Just forget it. Forget about being successful, being happy. Forget about being happy, ha having a happy marriage. Forget about having good children. Unless you're not willing to accept suffering, accept fear, you, 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 you end up in trouble. Here he is uh, from, from Carl Jung. And when you think of roots into dark soil suffering, you have to grow and flourish. That is a new sign of suffering. Not only for your suffering, tolerate suffering, get on suffering, but actually stick your root in suffering. Go deeper, broader. I have, I have a lot of research on that. You go deeper and broader, then you go taller and spread your, spread your branches, spread your, your, your leaves and flourish. The new science of flourishing consists of the dialectic process of sinking one's roots and spreading your branches. 